I want to welcome you to my channel and welcome you back. Thanks so much for being here. I am glad you are here because today we're talking about how to stop emotional eating. Now, let me say this. This is a judgment free zone. I am definitely not judging you. We are working through these things together. Okay. So we're going to talk about how to stop emotional eating, but first, just in case you need uh, 21 scriptures to overcome negative thinking, there's a link below in the description box in case you haven't had a chance to get that yet. So definitely check that out. Link is below in the box. As we're talking today, if you hear something that you like, like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already, because I would love to connect with you as we learn and grow together. All right, let's get into it. Let's talk about emotional eating, okay? So first of all, I found this really great website and this great definition of what emotional eating is. So I wanna share that with you. It's from healthguide.org and it says, emotional eating is um, using food to make yourself feel better, to feel emotional needs rather than your stomach, okay? So we're using food to make yourself feel better, to feel emotional needs rather than your stomach. Okay, have you ever been there? I absolutely have been there. I absolutely have done this. It absolutely has been a struggle. Okay, this is a real thing. So oftentimes if you are stress, stressed out, frustrated, tired, lonely, upset, mad, whatever it is, if you happen to be an emotional eater or a recovering emotional eater, you might have felt like, oh, I'm so upset, let me find something to eat. Now, I don't know what it is for you. I don't know what your go-to is, but my emotional eating thing is typically a cupcake. I might feel like, you know what, I'm upset. I'm not dealing with this today. I need a cupcake, okay? And so, when we have these emotional eating things, and I want you to be honest and share, I shared, you should share too. Share in the comments, what is your thing? When you're feeling upset and worked up and emotional, what is your go-to thing? What do you eat? I want to know. Tell me in the comments, okay? So when we are going through these things, when we are emotionally eating, here's the thing. Often, more often than not, you are not, you're absolutely not eating because you're hungry in these moments. You are eating because you are upset and there's something that you're dealing with or something that you're avoiding, something that you're suppressing, something that we don't want to address. So it's like, I'm not going to deal with that. I'm gonna do something that makes me feel good. I'm gonna do something that makes me comforted. And for me, that's a cupcake. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, we are avoiding, <laughs> we are avoiding what's going on. We are not addressing the issue. We are not doing you know, our due diligence to figure out what am I dealing with? Is this something that I need to handle? Is this something that I need to turn over to the Lord? So we, it's, a, it's an avoidance mechanism, okay? Is what it really is. So I wanted to just share a few tips today on what we can do to help if we find ourselves being an emotional eater or if you've ever been an emotional eater here are some tips that have helped me and that can help you to really work through some of this because I know you feel like you have no self-control and you feel like you're just eating but it's really not that it's really not even about the self-control it's something deeper is going on in your life Something deeper is going on on the inside of you and we got to get to the root of that. We have to figure out what is that thing. Okay, so here's five tips. Number one, stop beating yourself up about it. I want you to first stop beating yourself up because you beat yourself up. You feel bad about emotionally eating. You feel bad that you just ate that entire box of Krispy Kreme donuts. You feel bad that you just ate all those cookies in that pack. You feel bad that you just ate that whole entire thing of ice cream. And, and so now you feel bad about it. And so because you feel bad, what do you do? You're going to eat some more. You're going to binge some more. You're going to just be more upset, more emotional. It is not helping anything. So the first tip, the first step is to stop beating yourself up about it because it's really not about the food. It's really not about that. It is about something else and we've got to figure out what that something else is. Okay, so the second tip is to really truly pray and ask God to show you what's going on. God will show you. He will reveal to you. Holy Spirit is the revealer. He, is, he's, he leads us into all truth. He reveals. He's our helper. He shows us what's going on. He helps us. And sometimes we think, oh, this is silly. This is just some little silly thing about why I eat so much cake. I don't have to take that to God, but we should take everything to God in prayer. God is concerned with all aspects of our life. He is concerned with everything that we're concerned about. And so God wants to help us get through this. Even if it sound, seems like, oh, that's silly. That's not a big deal. It is a big deal because it's really about something else that's going on. It's really about something deeper that is happening. And you can pray and ask Holy Spirit to reveal to you what is the thing. 
Holy Spirit, what is the root cause of my emotional eating? Why am I eating like this? Why, why is it that I can't stop eating whatever it is? Why is it that I keep doing this? Why is it that when I feel upset, I go to food? What is that about? And then it becomes a vicious cycle because now you're upset and now you're beating yourself up because you ate all that stuff. And then what else happens? Now the pounds are adding on. So now you got this unnecessary weight on you, right? Physically and emotionally and spiritually. So now you're carrying all this extra weight that you didn't want there in the first place. And it's a vicious cycle. And so now I have these extra pounds on me, so I'm gonna eat some more because now I'm really upset, you know? So it's a cycle. And so we have to pray and say, God, show me what it is. Show me what's going on inside of me. Show me what's going on. What are you trying to let me know, Father? What is it that I am avoiding? Father, what is the root cause of this emotional eating? Why is it that I can't seem to break it? Why, why is it that it keeps coming up in my life? Why have, I had, why have I dealt with this for so many years and what needs to be done next? Okay, so that's the second tip. The first tip is don't beat yourself up about it. We're just going to pray and ask Holy Spirit to reveal what's going on. Okay, the third tip is to exercise, move your body. So when you feel upset, when you feel like you things are out of control or you're upset about something or you're hurting about something, you're feeling emotional, you're feeling upset, move your body. And I know you probably won't feel like moving your body because you're upset and you don't feel good, right? But when you move your body, things begin to shift in your mind. So there is this mind-body connection. What's happening in your mind affects your body. What's happening in your body affects your mind. Don't get me started today on gut health and how all these things are connected, right? So all of that goes together. So when you are feeling like you're about to go down an emotional eating spiral, choose to exercise, choose to move your body. Get up and walk around the house, take a quick walk around your neighborhood, go to YouTube, put on a video where somebody's working out or walking, just join in with them and it will begin to change things in your brain. Your brain will begin to fire off in a different way and you can kind of pull that in and get control over what's happening, okay? So exercise a little bit, move your body. It doesn't have to be a long time, doesn't have to be a lot. Just do something physical to get your body going, to get your, to get your body moving, to get your brain flowing in a different way, to kind of bring in all of that extra uh, feelings and emotions that are about to take off okay the fourth thing is find another outlet so when you feel like I'm upset I need to eat I encourage you to find a different outlet so that could be praying you might be a person who says uh, I can feel it about to happen so I'm gonna go pray you might be someone who says I need to journal I'm upset, so I'm gonna write out my feelings so I can express what is happening on the inside of me and get it out. So I encourage you to try to journal if you haven't done that before. Just write out your feelings, write out your emotions, write out what you're dealing with, write out what's causing you to be upset, write out what's making you angry. Whatever those things are, just write it all out and get it out. You might be someone who walks as an outlet. Going walking always helps me feel better. Whenever I am upset, whenever I am not feeling good, whatever is going on, I'm like, you know what? I just need to stop what I'm doing and take a walk because it just makes me feel better. I can think more clearly. I can hear God. He starts to speak to me and give me ideas. I can kind of bring myself in a little bit. So that's a major outlet for me. You gotta find what works for you. Some other things could be creating. To those of us who are very creative, maybe you like to cook and that's like a creative outlet for you. Go cook something. Well, this could be a little tricky, right? If we're talking about emotional eating, but go cook, you know, something semi-healthy. Or if you are an artist, maybe go paint or draw or create or whatever it is that you do, just find some type of creative outlet to get it out. Or you could be a person who likes to talk it out and maybe you need to find a friend or somebody to share with and talk and just encourage each other and just get it out. So these are just some other ways to deal with the emotion, deal with what you're going through without eating it, okay? So these are just some other ideas to try those things to get that uh, those emotions out of your body. Um, that was number four. The fifth way is to just process and be patient with yourself. This is a process. Okay, so don't, back to the first tip, do not beat yourself up over being an emotional eater. This is a process. Wellness is a journey. And so it's one step at a time. It's things, it's something that happens over time. Don't beat yourself up. Be patient with yourself. But in the meantime, if you are gonna still eat when you feel upset, let's just start by making a healthier eating choice. 
So if you do feel like, oh, I still need something to snack, like while we're working through these other things, while God is giving you revelation, while you're finding an outlet, while you're doing some of these different things, if you are still going to eat a little bit when you, you know, we're in process, then just make a healthier choice. Keep some fruit in the house. Keep some protein bars around yourself. Keep some maybe nuts, if you know, if you can have nuts and things like that. Keep some healthy choices. So when you feel the urge to, oh, I just need a little snack, I'm upset, then go get a piece of fruit or have a small protein bar or do something like that while we're in the process of hearing from the Lord and figuring out what is the root cause of what's happening in my life. Why am I emotionally eating? Lord, show me, help me to overcome this in Jesus name because God will do that for you. And so I want to pray for you. So Heavenly Father, I just lift up each and every person that's listening to this right now, God. Every person that is here, every person that has struggled with emotional eating in their life, God, I lift them to you now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I ask God now that you give them great revelation, that you give them great clarity as the root cause of the emotional eating, because it's really not about the food. And it's really not necessarily a lack of self-control as they have begun to believe. But God, I ask you now in the name of Jesus that you show them the root cause of the sadness. What is it that's causing the, so much sadness? What is it that's causing them so much fear and anxiety and frustration? And the outlet is, well, I'm going to eat. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would break that off of them in Jesus' name. God, I pray that you would break that now in the name of Jesus. And when they feel the urge, Father, that you would direct them to another outlet. God, that you would give them the healing that they need, the deliverance that they need, Father, to move forward in you in the name of Jesus. We thank you that every habit that has been established, that has caused them to eat things out of frustration, we break that now. We sever it in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, God, for forming new habits. We thank you, God, for forming new direction, new guidance, so that when they feel those feelings coming up, Father, they would choose a new way to deal with it. They would come to you. They would pray. They would ask for your guidance, and then they would do something else. They might take a walk. They might do something creative. They might have to journal. Whatever it takes. Father, I thank you now that you're going to give them direction and guidance and clarity on the new habit to replace the eating habit. So, Father, we bless you now. We, we cancel any bad relationships that we have with food. We cancel those things in the name of Jesus. We know food is good. Food is to nourish us. And so any bad feelings and bad things, connections that have been established around food, we cancel that in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Father, for new healthy habits. And we thank you for a new relationship with food. And we thank you that we won't use it as comfort because you, Holy Spirit, are our comforter. So we thank you for comforting us in the times of our trouble, in the times of our frustration, in the times of our hurt and pain and sadness. We thank you that you comfort us and not food. And so, Father, we bless you and we thank you and we honor you for this new day being established with new direction and new clarity and new vision around eating and what that looks like and how it's used as a benefit and a nourishment. So this is in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless you and we honor you, Father, for the work that you have done and the process that you're taking us on. In Jesus' name it is so. Amen. So thank you so much for being here today. Jump in the comments if you have some other things that you have done to overcome emotional eating. We want to hear about it. Share your tips with us. Share your tricks with us. Share whatever you've had to do. If you feel comfortable sharing, please do that in the comments. Definitely like this video. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Share this channel, whatever. Uh, I want to stay connected with you and I want to hear from you. So I'll talk to you in the comments and I look forward to talking to you again soon.